Hey guys, how's it going? It's Thang and welcome to this Let's Plant video. So, let's get started. These are the beautiful babies that we are going to be planting today. Three out of four of them have already started its rooting system. The Mahogany Rose, the Heart's Delight, and also the Midway right here. The Rainbow Sunset still hasn't given me a roots yet, but I'm still hopeful that it will once we plant them in. You can see right here this beautiful Heart's Delight. Let's see if it focused properly this time. Yeah, focus. There you go. It has its rooting system ready to go. So that's great. So before we get started, I want to show you this picture right here that I've taken that I've also shared onto Instagram. Um, so when we're moving into a new gritty mix like mine or even the Bonsai Jack sucking mix right here, we wanted to start having a new rooting system uh, where the new root system attaches itself to the particles, to the volcanic soil and all that stuff so that way it can absorb the water and nutrients, right? The old one that we have when we pull the succulent out of its soil, it still has the old rooting system where it's still attached onto the soil and unfortunately here's the thing if it's there's too much soil that means that it could still get root rot because when water goes down there's too much soil being retained in that sorry there's too much water being retained into that soil and it might suffocate the root so usually when I um, uh, put as uh, repot my succulent into the new greedy mix I actually behead it so that way and put it aside in that way that it can develop new root system like this one so that way it can actually absorb the nutrients and the water easily and without having the, all that dirt particle being stuck onto it then to retain water to eventually get root rot so it's very important for you to keep in mind okay so let's get started with these four babies. I'm still going to be using the Bonsai Jack succulent mix right here because I still have him. It's a waste to throw away anything because it is money in the end, right guys? So I'm going to put this up here. So we're going to start with, ooh, I don't know, the Echeverry Midway. Remember, I have my clay balls here. And also with the Bonsai Jack mix right here, succulent mix right here, I'm going to put putting in some um, volcanic soil for the extra nutrients, okay? Always have your fiberglass right here we know mesh fiberglass put it on the bottom because we don't want extra particles to fall out right I mean sand will fall out, not a problem but this one we won't have sand at all okay just enough remember that you know succulents and chivarias their rooting system is actually very very small it's not very it's not big at all oh I think I should have used like a um, um, a spoon uh, for, so with the Bonsai Jack mix, I actually don't have to um, put in coconut fiber because it already has wood chips inside. So the only thing I still have to do is put in um, volcanic soil. So with the volcanic soil, you want to have it evenly mixed around. But also, where you're putting your succulent, you want more of it there because then it'll give the little babies extra nutrients, right? Remember, these are these are like... These are babies. You have to take care of them. You kids can't just like, oh, you know, it's fine. I don't have to water it or anything. I'm just gonna let it grow. No, these are little babies. You know, don't be, don't be, don't be such jerk faces, right? Mix that around evenly, right? So that looks a little even. I mean, it's okay to have clay balls on top as well. But remember, clay balls also absorb the um, absorb the water, so it's. So it, it allows us to have moisture in the clay balls as well. You know, it absorbs and slowly, slowly and surely, uh, the clay ball will release the water. Okay, you guys. Okay, let's go more. And more. I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good enough. So I'm going to put a lot more uh, volcanic soil in here. Okay, this is the, the volcanic soil is the pretty much the only main... Um, um, organic material that we have. I think that's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna take some out. Take some out, no worries. I'm gonna mix this a little bit more. Okay. 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 And usually in the middle here, in the middle there, sprinkle a little. I think I think I just need to just do a lot more volcanic soil. Because we need an evenly mixture of it, right? Because the soil, the, the roots are just gonna go everywhere. And it needs, it needs, it needs, honestly, it needs soil. It needs some nutrients. I think that's good enough. That is, that is, I think that's good enough, right? That's, uh, that's a good enough mix. Be generous with the, um, with the volcanic soil because with an inorganic, 
let's say an inorganic um, inorganic um, grainy mix you you want some nutrients back into it because then you don't have to constantly give it food right because the food is already there you see this this uh, echeveria midway already has its rooting system so all we got to do is bury it underneath now when you are burying this underneath keep in mind that you don't want any of these roots to touch light sorry to touch like uh, grow lights or sunlight because it will singe and burn these roots and that would be that that would be no good because then Unfortunately, it'll start growing new roots again and again and again and again and you'll you'll repeat that vicious cycle of um, Of like growing new roots, right? And you don't want that you don't want that at all. You, you do not want it at all. You, you do not want that at all um, and also it's okay to have volcanic soil around because when you water it it slowly melts away like very very slowly melts away into um into 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 the into the bottom here so i really actually i really want some more soil just around it that's it that's all i want i don't want that much more that's all i want right that's it so this way it can actually nab onto Shake it a little. Shake, shake, shake. Nab onto the volcanic soil, which gives it extra nutrients. And that's that's about it. That's how I would plant mine. There you go. Ta-da! So in about in about a week's time, the the root is going to descend and just attach itself onto the rest of the particles there, which is really what we want, right? So let's go to the next one, which is the heart's delight. I really like the heart's delight. I think it's a, honestly it's a pagoda. It is a pagoda um, hybrid, right? It's a pagoda hybrid, and I think it's gonna be a very, very big one. So this is a good mixture right here. Uh, let's pour that in there. Right. It's, it's a waste of have like having the volcanic on the bottom. It's really a waste of like, I think that's, it's a waste of material if you have the volcanic all the way at the bottom. But sometimes it just it just happens like that. Okay. Okay, and then just mix this up. Mix, mix, mix. See, that's an evenly distribution of like volcanic soil and uh, the grainy mix. Okay, guys. Like I really like I honestly I really like the grainy mix because it's so much more cleaner. Honestly, it's so much more cleaner than um, the dirt and soil. I mean, I still have volcanic soil, but the majority of it, it's so much cleaner and it's so much easier to just clean up as well. You know what I mean? Like, I, dirt is always, you know, the best in giving nutrients, but at the same time, it's just so dirty. It's just so dirty, you know? Like that, okay. So we're gonna remove one of the leaf here because one of the leaf here is pretty much done. There's no point in key keeping any of these leaves, right? Okay. There's no point in keeping like dry the dried out leaves because it's just going to be a a um, an area for like the bugs to live in. Okay. There's no point in honestly. There's none into uh, keeping those because we we still have like really great leaves so far. Uh, we're gonna put this under here. Uh oh, that's that's a bit. Oh god. Kellogg's okay. Kellogg's crispy square. That's good. Cause this this doesn't really have a a a stem, so it's a little bit tricky to like um, put it as a rooting system like the other one. The, uh, so we're gonna shake it. We're gonna shake it so that way it's evenly distributed in there. You know what I mean? Okay, there we go. That's it for that one. Next one. Don't forget your fiberglass thing. Oh, I won't. Okay. And then some of the. There we go. Okay. And then. Uh oh. Don't worry. I'm gonna clean this up. Okay. Don't worry, you guys. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. 
Alright. Fluva. I guess I'd be generous with it. Be generous. Especially with your rare plants. Be very generous with your volcanic soil. Be very generous with anything that can keep moisture. Because, I mean, as much as it's nice to get away from like inorganic material, you need, you need some stuff that can retain moisture, that can give it extra nutrients so that you don't have to do it yourself. Okay? Okay? All you have to do is just water it. That's all you have to do. I think that's good. That's good. I know, you know what? I know that once I finish doing this, um, next week sometimes, I'm just gonna take it out and see how, how well it is. That's how horrible I am. I gotta like restrain myself into like not touching it. You know what I mean? I just wanna see the progress to my babies. That's all there is. I just wanna see the progress. I just wanna see the progress to my babies. To my babies. So this one does have a little stem. Okay, that's good. That's good. It does have a little stem. A little drizzle, a little bit more. Okay. Okay. I think it's in it's in one side more than the other side. Kind of sucks. Okay. Just it. Okay, that's good. The mahogany rose right here also has a nice rooting system right there. Let's put it in like that, okay? And then we're just gonna shake, shake, shake a little, hold, hold the mahogany rose. I'm gonna shake like this. Remember, I like my martini shaken, not stirred. No, you should have your martini stirred, not shaken. Okay, and that's it. Use that, okay? There you go. Okay, now it's in. There you go. I'm not even gonna bother like putting um, top dressing into this. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Okay, and the last one. Always don't forget your fiberglass thing. Never forget your fiberglass, you guys. Never forget it. Fiberglass is like the windowsill of the world. It is the windowsill of the world. What am I talking about? I'm. S oh, hold on. Um, hold on. So I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna use this. Whatever's left over of this. Okay, because it's such a waste to throw this out. Okay, guys, don't ever throw things out like this. You know what I mean? Reuse, recycle, and reduce. Unless it's, like, disgusting and you throw it out. But stuff like this, just reuse it. Like, you know, don't don't throw it out. See? It's, see what I mean? Okay, so then we're going to put some in here. Okay. No, I'm just gonna leave that alone, and that's it. And then we'll put the rest in here. Okay, where's my, where's my trusty, uh, where's my trusty, uh, my trusty little tool, huh? Here you go. My, I love my trusty little tool. Stir that up. Stir that up. Stir that up. Stir that up. A little bit more fluva, please. A little bit more. Thank you. A little bit more fluva. There you go. That looks even, right? That looks pretty even. Okay. And so the uh, this one also like the uh, Heart's Delight does not have a a nice little um, stem. So we're just gonna have to evenly put it right here, right? And then we're just gonna we're just gonna shake. Okay, shake. Like Oh, no, that's not good. <laughs> sorry, I'm horrible at this. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna distribute that. Oh my god, it's not distributed evenly. Ugh, gosh. Gosh, golly gosh. Golly, golly gosh. There you go. That's distributed evenly. Okay. I know it's a waste on, on the side, but that's okay. It's okay, guys. It's, it's okay. Sometimes you just gotta accept your fate. Right? No, don't, don't ever accept your fate. Never accept your fate. Always make your own destiny. Okay? Never accept things that are given to you. Or unless they're really good things. And that's about it. So that's pretty much how I 
uh, would pot my my pot in, in the new mixture anyways uh, because it's very important for the root to attach itself to um, something that's porous something that's nutrient and that has nutrients so that way it can start growing right away instead of having to search everywhere for it okay and that's it and I'll see you guys next time okay I'm just kidding there's actually more I'm gonna be doing um, a propagation tray too so let's pack this away and then get on to that okay I'll be right back all right, so we still have to do this propagation tray. It's it's one of my personal ones anyway. So with propagation in our new mixture material, what we need to do is put coconut fiber underneath the tray, okay? Because our new mixture doesn't really have any organic material really, except for the volcanic soil. So we have to use some type of some type of like porous type of. Uh, material that can hold moisture just a little bit more because for us Canadians it's really hard to find like turfus type of um, uh, rocks sorry uh, of, uh, sorry clay sorry what's the gravel turfus sorry turfus type of like material right so we have to use like something like coconut fiber or coconut choir just so that it can retain the moisture underneath it so when the roots are developed when they come underneath they'll attach themselves onto these larger particles which will retain some moisture but not all moisture um, so that way the, uh, the the little babies can start can drink a little bit more right because if you have just pure organic material the, the it's not going to retain any moisture right? and that's the problem that's one of the problems. It's really nice for like super quick drainage, but that's one of the problems. So I usually put my coconut fiber underneath right here, evenly spaced out. Okay guys, evenly spaced out like this. And also the inorganic material evaporates really quickly. You know, so the water, even the water sits down here, it just evaporates really quickly, especially when it's, it's, it's really, really hot, right? Really, really hot. So there you go. This is evenly distributed. Uh, distributed right out of here. There you go. Once it's done, all we do is grab our inorganic material, the, the, the mixing blend, and just put it on. And just put it on. See, it's evenly, it evenly has volcanic soil, so that way the babies can grab some nutrients from it, right? So we don't have to worry about feeding it nutrients all the time when there's like volcanic soil for it to latch onto. I like the word latch onto, the words, you know, it's, it's gonna latch. Oh look, this looks like a heart. Happy Valentine's everybody. I don't got a Valentine, but that's okay. Y'all can be my, my lovers for the, for the year. Y'all can be my lovers. Okay. So then once we're done with that, evenly distribute this. Okay. Evenly do that. It's okay if your volcanic soil is not on top as long as it's spread out. And I mean, there's tons underneath the sand. So don't worry about that. Okay. There we go. Because before, um, I moved a lot of my like propagation shop into like uh, a tray and that kind of dis disrupted the um, the coconut fiber underneath so it's like all pretty much on top. So now we're gonna put our propagation tray stuff right here. This is like this honestly this is just my own personal like propagation so it's not really for anything really uh, but I really wanted to actually do it because I mean I have tons of leaves lying around um, and you know I need to use it right so why not? Why not do it for in this video too? So remember, if you put it upside down, like they, up like that, it, it saves you space. Okay, it saves you space. La Siena, La Siena. It saves you space. But sometimes, once the leaf starts propagating, it's like, duh. No, I gotta put it the other way now. I just gotta put it the other way. Okay. You don't have to be really gentle. I mean, you should be gentle with them. Cause like if you actually break it, it's gonna, it's just gonna die. Where are the same ones? Oh, whatever. <laughs> yes. So this is what I do on my spare time, you guys. Oh no! See, see this. This is gonna hit that. Push it up a little. That should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, we need longer ones with longer ones. Hello, 
Hello? There. Right there. So I've, I've, I've actually put these into, um, uh, whatchamacallit? The thing, the uh, root boosting powder, and hopefully it works. Because I mean, it's pretty much dying on its own. I don't know what to do with it. And some of these are already propagating without me doing anything to it. It's magical. Honestly, it's it's truly, it's truly magical. And this hasn't propagated. This is a Gliboforia. It has not propagated, which kind of like makes me mad. But how can you be mad at beautiful things? I just want I just wanted to reproduce it. You know, for my own personal gains. <laughs> This is not, this, it doesn't look nice, does it? There's tons of things to propagate all the time. All the time. I just need to like organize it really. Because there's so many things. Like these ones already have babies. Look at this. this I, I didn't do anything to it. I just left it aside. It already has babies. It literally already has babies. What am I supposed to do with all these babies? Honestly. My mom's gonna come home tomorrow. She's like, oh my god, what did you do? I'm like, I organized the place, mom. There's, there's tons of stuff for you to do now. Actually, less stuff for you to do now. Because I've organized everything for you. It's like, yeah. I'm like, okay. But... She's gonna be like that when she comes home. She's gonna be like, there's so many things that you've done so far this week. You know? Because I gotta get, I gotta get, get moving, right? I can't just like stay still and like do nothing. No, I'm not. I'm not that type of person. I need. To, I need to keep moving. Uh, it keeps moving in my bed to go to sleep, right? You know. This See? Is I haven't done anything to this, and it's still. It's still proper. Right There's, there's always been like tons of like, my mom likes to just throw things into the pile and she doesn't know what, what they are either. Just like throw things sometimes. Like stop mother. See like this baby? This baby? Yeah. 
I don't know what's going on with that. I'm just gonna leave that there. I know what it is. I don't know if I really want it though. You know? This is like a lot of people would want like my thrown out leaves, but I just, I just don't care sometimes. Honestly, like some leaves are not really worth it. And like I know like I've known, I've known I've known people to cry over leaves, so I'm like really I'm like yeah. My mom's like yeah. I'm like okay. My cousin cried over like a dead leaf. I'm like wow. How's that even possible? She's like yeah, you know, cause like people value more stuff over there than we value stuff here, you know, right? Oh, that is. Harry Winston. They, they, they've, they've grown already without me doing anything to the leaf. Which is really fascinating. Like a lot of these are just really fascinating. Right? Dang, are you tired? Yes, of course I'm tired. I'm always working. See, I've organized it so that way it's it's coming to like a a nice line. Okay. Nice line, right? Did I not put this in? Oh, that's horrible. Well, there goes that line. There goes that bloody line. Baby right there. Last line. I don't want this. Oh, there's is there a baby? Ah, I just put it there. Anyways. Mom's like, oh, you gotta have that, cause you know, just wants everything. There's a baby in that one too. See? Honestly, these this tray, I just I pretty much throw them aside. I pretty much throw them aside, and it just keeps growing. Sometimes I throw them, like all over the place and it just keeps growing it will just grow it will just grow no matter what I do to them sometimes and the ones that you want it to like grow does not grow which kind of sucks right kind of like organize all this like nicely but all these little ones are like driving me crazy this is baby like jelly beans are driving me crazy girl this one has a baby already see it's like, what the what the what, what the gong hell man um, maybe I should do my mom and just like do as my mom does and just like throw them in. Just throw them in. Throw them in. Let let them fight for like their lives. Let them fight for their lives, yo. Yeah. <laughs> like I like this one. Do we still have room and space? Um, there we go. Babies on here too. Um, I might throw the rest out because I don't have a use for the rest of them, anyways. It's, it's just repeats of like whatever I already have. I might just throw them all out. Baby on there. Baby on there. These Louise thing. How many base babies do you have? I have a lot of babies. Uh, I've kidnapped a lot of babies. Kidnapped a lot of baby, baby, babies. You know what I mean? Good job. I'm gonna have, I have, I have, I gotta have all the babies. There's, there's a bear in both, if that works. Um. Okay. Oh, there's one right here that has a baby. Wow. There's the macaw, I think. So there's that there too. And there's this one. 
And there's, I don't know. I'm gonna throw the rest out. I'm gonna throw the rest out. I don't really need the rest. That's it. So there you go. There's my next propagation joint. I'm gonna throw, oh, wait, wait. Wait, I gotta, I gotta put these in too. I don't remember what these are. I forgot what these were. I totally forgot what these were. My mom's gonna kill me. Oh, you know what? I have an extra chair to put these in. Not a problem. Anyways, that is it for this Let's Plant video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the heart's delight. The rainbow sunset. The midway. And the mahogany rose. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, press a like, a thumbs up. And don't forget to press like and subscribe. Oh, I just said that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay? Love ya. Bye. Mwah.